A second measure of center is called the median. And so you can think of it like the median in the road, that it is the middle value. But the most important part of a middle value is that it's an ordered set of data. So for example, if I wanted to find the student who's got the middle height in our room, I can't just go find the person sitting in the middle. I need to have everybody line up by height, then I can find who has the middle height of the room. When it comes to finding the middle and you have an even amount, there's actually no dead center middle. There would be two people who tie. So in that particular case, then what you're going to do is average those middle two heights, values, whatever your data is. So when it comes to a median, you could really think of it as the halfway point in the middle. And here's an example kind of explaining the median and a case where we use the median. For example, the median home price of a home is $175,000. That means half of all homes cost less and half of all homes cost more. So that middle point divides our data. Now let's go ahead and look at problem two or part two, which is an example. And we're asked to compute the median not the mean. So I've got these three numbers, super small list, but it was just to make our life a little bit easier here. Remember, the first thing I need to do is order that list. So in order, it's one, three, five. You probably didn't even need to write it down. You could do that in your head. But now as I go to take the median, I need to go take that middle value, which in this case is a three, and I just get a three for an answer. Now, in this case, when we say half of all numbers are below three and half are above three, technically it's only a third that are below and a third that are above because it's such a small list. But of the numbers that aren't three, half of them are smaller and half of them are larger. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at problem 2B. In problem 2B, I'm asked to find the median. Here it doesn't matter whether it's a population or a sample. Remember, I need to double check that the list is in order. 25 is smaller than 31, which is smaller than 48, which is smaller than 56. Ugh. But 29 is not smaller. So the list was not in order. So I need to reorder it. When I go to reorder it, I have found, so I scan, okay, since 25 is the smallest number, I tend to cross it off so I don't even have to look at it again. Now I've got 29 is the next smallest number. 31, and I just kind of keep this process going as I'm going through the list. You don't have to cross them off, but I always think it's a good idea. Also, I found it's a good idea to count how many numbers are in the list. You know, there was one, two, three, four, five, six numbers in the list, and I want to double check that I have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. So if somebody repeated, I'd still need them because I need the same total amount of numbers. When it goes to finding the middle of a longer list, there's a formula to calculate which position, but I find it's just one more thing to memorize. So what I usually do is I kind of just start narrowing it down from the ends, cross off my two end numbers, cross off my next two end numbers, and as I go to cross off the next two end numbers, I realize if I cross them off, I'd have a median of a comma, and that can't be the answer. So this is the case where I had six items, which is an even number, so I'm not going to have a number dead center in the middle, but I can go ahead and average the two numbers that I do have. So 31 plus 37 divided by 2. Why am I dividing by 2? Yeah, because there's two numbers in my list. You probably are doing all this on your calculator and just getting the value. There's no decimals, so I don't need to worry about rounding. Hey, I never gave you the answer up above or it got erased. So in terms of problem 2B, the median value is 34. If you look at the list, 34 is not in the list. That's okay. It's fine that 34 is not in the list because if you think of it as some sort of divider point, that right here at 34, yeah, half of all numbers are below it and half of all numbers are above it. So it does calculate to be a true median.
Okay, so now let me have you go ahead and show me that you can solve these. So for problem 3a, your missing numbers are 72 and 75. So go ahead and, you know, in a moment, hit pause, calculate it, and then play to check your answer. Did you get 65? If you didn't get 65, were you sure to order them, were the problem? Here are the steps. I kind of went through. I like to write the numbers under each existing number, so I made sure that I wasn't missing anything, and that's how I got 65. So now let me have you work on part B. 10 and 9 are your missing numbers. And for your answer, did you get, eh, we'll just go over this one in class.